What's up, dude? So, I'm going to give you a quick and snappy guide on how to set up sites. Non-comprehensive, right? Because every site is going to be different. But this is a topic that a lot of people get confused about, right? Because there's a lot of information to go off of. You don't necessarily know all the time what you need to do when you're first starting out with this game. Do I make these kinds of holes and then reinforce? Do I reinforce both of the walls? Do I make this kind of rotate versus another kind of rotate? There's a lot of information to process here. So I'm going to try to trim the fat and make it as easy as possible for you to understand. So the responsibility of setting up site, who does that fall to? Well, it's usually going to fall to somebody with a primary shotgun like this, like Mutant Smoke with the primary M590 shotgun. These are great examples of operators that are going to be specifically tailored to site setup. If you are on a site like Oregon Kids Bedroom and Bunks, this is a site that I picked because it requires a lot of default setup. You're going to be expected to get this stuff done, you know, relatively quickly, right? And it's a lot of work, especially if you have mute jammers. To make things a little bit easier for yourself, what you want to do throughout the course of the round is have a plan of exactly what you're going to open up. Now, you can look around, and eventually with Game Sense, you'll kind of figure it out. Your smoke can help out with this part. Maybe somebody has impact grenades. Maybe you have an Oryx. Right? There's tons of different ways to set it up. There's not a one-size-fits-all approach, but there are some general guidelines. So basically what you want to do when the, when the prep phase starts up, you don't want to go right away and then just start putting down your gadgetry, right? Because believe it or not, your defenders, even your roamers, are going to need rotates as well, even in the prep phase, because it's just going to give them a little bit more mobility to set up their gadgets, especially Jaeger, right? Because think of what he has to do. He has a whole bunch of active gadgets that he has to set up throughout the entire site. So, make it easy for yourself, make the rotates first, and then place the gadgetry along your path. So for instance, if I spawn here, right, in kids' dorms, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to shotgun the thing, right, which I already did, and then I'm going to place my white stairs jammer, maybe shoot a drone, right, let's pretend that's the drone, shotgun out this, reinforce this. jammer and then maybe I have a smoke or a rook or somebody with impact grenades who's already gotten this attic rotate and then I don't have to worry about that as much and I can go over here chuck on the hatch put the reinforces down and then put a jammer on the wall but like I said there's not a one-size-fits-all approach here okay it's really contextually based so let's go with laundry supply. This is a really good one to talk about because this is a default like smoke setup we got here, right? We got a default smoke shield setup for the elbow extend uh, into to elbow, seconds. duh, Five right? Out of, I actually forget the B-bomb. I always just call this B-bomb. So, all right, I spawned. Let's go. Make one rotate. I made a short on how to make rotates a lot more quickly. Basically, you want to have some kind of motion for the hip fire spread just to ensure that the pellet spread is as far out as possible. And you put a shield down. And for a site like this, that's relatively simple. Okay. You can also make some holes here if you want to get a little bit more dicey. Somebody else, like a mirror or somebody, is also going to reinforce stuff, right? Remember that one person can reinforce everything, but that's ideally not what you want to do. So you're going to have people helping you out, I would hope. Oh, don't forget to reinforce this, by the way. Because then, when they push this side, right, assuming that it gets too hot, you might throw a smoke or two. You're going to come back to the site and then reinforce it. You're going to take gunfights. You're going to bend, but not break. That's the idea. So, how complicated does it get when we start talking about... The walls. Now, in the 2020 meta, right, with the utility simulator, it was a little bit weird. Okay, because it, will, it was weird compared to what we have now. Because we would just reinforce the crap out of everything because there was so much utility that the attackers had to burn through. But now, we're kind of adopting this more reactive approach for the defenders where you spread your control around the map as much as possible, take gunfights, and then defend the site rather than just trying to prevent a wall open and that's like the name of the game now typically the wall will eventually get open more often than not but what exactly am i talking about so this is one component of a site setup for smoke 
get this thing, put down the shield. Jaeger helps out with ADSs. And then I might do, you know, some other stuff. I might make, like, head holes for the closet player. There's lots of different ways to skin a cat, right? I can reinforce this. I can make head level holes. Looking towards freezer. Again, we're talking about this whole approach of bend, but don't break. We want to take gunfights and win those gunfights, hopefully. Aim lab is free. Because it's, it's better off to fight them when they're far away than when they are in your face and about to plant, right? It's gonna make your, it's gonna make your situation a lot easier if you get a pick or two. As opposed to the older metas of just kind of like reinforcing the crap out of everything. Now that means that, it doesn't mean that you don't reinforce things. There are things that you still have to reinforce. You just have to contextualize it in the, into the regards of what your team wants to do. So typically this is going to be a very common mirror setup. A mirror is going to put a wall here. Shotgun out this. And then, when the mirror is playing this, obviously this needs to be reinforced, right? Because this is the most convenient way to get the mirror off. So usually a roamer, not the smoke player, right? Because the smoke is running around doing this, right? The smoke is setting up sight. So this is going to fall usually the hatches are going to fall to the roamer that's up top right because it's the most convenient thing for them it really really depends on what's going on sometimes you can have a site player come up and just take care of it i would depending on the stack that you're playing with i would just ask is somebody getting you know the hatch somebody getting front hatches back hatches and then if nobody volunteers just go for it and then if somebody else volunteers for it then you're good Try to communicate that right. Try to divvy up the responsibilities to your team because one person shouldn't be just responsible for all the site setup. Sometimes it, it is what it is, but you want to get it done before the pre you know before the prep phase. Like duh, that's what it's called, the prep phase, so that you can focus on positioning, get on cams, figure out where they are. Hey, four people spawn construction. They're doing a fast blue. Now, when should you make a vault hole? Here's a good example. Now, I still have a vault rotate, right? But, I can hide, and then, assuming that I play my cards right here and I don't reveal my location, I haven't given my, uh, I haven't given myself up, whenever I hear the default plant go down, I can throw my smokes without getting shot. Now, I probably shouldn't just, you know, keep flinging stuff over, right? Because as soon as they see the first smoke bomb, they're probably just gonna spam through the wall. But, this is nice to have, right? It's better than trying to, you know, quick peek the smoke grenade. You want this elevation uh, cut off here so that you can actually just like throw it over and then bada bing, bada boom. So this is when you would want to have a vault rotate. Footholes are interesting. Footholes are cool because they provide a one-way angle. Vault into the bathroom and I can't see the connector guy trying to shoot my feet. Unless I go prone. Somebody vaults in. But this is a very general site setup overview. Let me know if you guys want to know anything more about maps in Rainbow Six Siege. And the map content tends to do kind of okay. It really depends on the topic. But I'm open to it. So, thanks for watching. If this video raised your Siege IQ, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more like this. I'll see you guys in the next video on Tuesday. Deuces.